Regional left ventricular wall thinning is believed to represent chronic transmural myocardial infarction and scar tissue. However, some recent case reports using delayed enhancement cardiovascular magnetic resonance imaging raise the possibility that thinning may occur with little or no scarring and may be reversible after revascularization. Now in JAMA, researchers have looked at patients with regional myocardial wall thinning to determine scar burden and the potential for functional improvement. This was a three-part study, so listen carefully. The researchers tried to determine first, what was the prevalence of regional wall thinning, that is an end diastolic wall thickness less than 5.5 millimeters. Second, in patients with thinning, what was the presence and extent of scar burden? And finally, third, in patients with thinning undergoing coronary vascularization, were there any changes in myocardial morphology and contractility? They studied about 1,000 patients, and one in five had regional wall thinning. 18% of thin regions had limited scar burden. So among patients with thinning undergoing revascularization, the extent of scar within the thinned region was inversely related to regional and global contractile improvement. In addition, end diastolic wall thickness in thin regions with limited scar burden increased after revascularization, resulting in resolution of wall thinning as well. On multivariable analysis, scar extent had the strongest association with contractile improvement. So what's the bottom line in this study? Among patients with coronary disease who have had wall thinning, limited scar burden may be present in as many as 20%, and that is associated with improved contractility and resolution of wall thinning after revascularization. Magnetic resonance imaging of your patients with coronary disease may well identify those with limited scarring despite wall thinning, and those patients are exactly the ones that may benefit from revascularization. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.